Okay, I'm uh, here in uh, a muskrat factory and I just wanted to show you some stuff. Um, when we talk about the bellies in the back of a muskrat, this is what we're talking about. Um, the belly is much bigger than the back. In other words, especially in the better sections, that belly goes all the way around uh, onto the back side. So that's the belly. And if you just fold the sides in there like this, okay. And then that little strip is the back. And another reason the back is made so small is because the back is, is worth less. So they try to keep it as, as small as possible to get the most out of the uh, belly uh, as they possibly can. Uh, this is, I would say this is a Chinese rat. Uh, yeah, I think it is Chinese rat or Russian or Kazakhstan, something like that. A um, little weaker on the belly, especially than, than a North American skin. Um, and uh, you know, like I uh, showed you in, showed you in some of those videos uh, this winter, um, you know the uh, toenailing the backs of these muskrats and uh, flipping the belly. You know this belly right here, this bottom of the belly onto the back is, is very very worthless. Is you know it would just make the the belly that much smaller. And actually, this belly looks like a little bit of that has been done to that because it's pretty small. Then as you can see here, um, she's uh, putting plates together. And I'm gonna show you the finished product in a second, but you can see that. See, they're putting, they're putting, she's putting bellies together there. And uh, now she's got a strip, two strips made, okay, of the bellies. And now she's gonna put those, now she's gonna put those two strips together. So she'll have about half a plate, because these, these plates are like four, Four skins by like, uh, yeah, it looks like these are four by five. Four skins across, five, five long. She's putting that together. Get right in there so you can see that. She's doing a beautiful job. Isn't that incredible? I'm gonna show you the finished product here in just a, just a second. Okay, there's someone on the side here. I'll, okay, here's one that she's got all made together. This is a. There's a belly plate. This is, like it says, it looks, okay, I guess they're three by three by five. They're a little smaller than that's what it's like. This is a non-sheared belly. Um, sometimes they shear the belly. Um, but uh, this will probably go into uh, Parka production. She just continues on sewing there. And uh, this, uh, she's also making plates and then like they, they put some material on the edges of everything um, so that they can sew them, sew them together whatever to make the liners for the coats. I'm gonna go out here and show you some oh yeah here's some no this is okay see now once they uh, once they get them done um, that's not all there is to it they actually have to uh, they wet them wet the backs and they're actually a little damp even when they sew them because they're they're just a little easier to sew because the hair is not so wispy and uh, poofy, as Bryce likes to say, and uh, it goes through the machine a little bit easier. So then what they do, this is called blocking. They block this out, and uh, you can see they don't put the tacks into the uh, skin itself, but they, uh, they put them into this piece of um, material. Uh, a lot of people call it tape in the fur trade. Uh, it's not tape, but uh, that's what they call it. And then they let this dry in the sun. This is just a little bit damp. But once that dries, all stretched out like that, that will stay like that. And uh, they, they'll be able to make the liners. I gotta keep going here. So there's a whole, whole row of them. And they do this, you know, 12, and here's, here, okay, here's some backs. You can see the real skinny backs. But these are worth, here, here they broke apart a little bit. They don't have to be fixed. That happened when they uh, stretched it. So, I don't know. Here's where they're, here's where they're, they, first they block out the skins themselves. So these are the bellies that they, they have tacked out. So they'll, and he's, take, he's taking the staples out of the, out of the muskrats there. And, uh, he'll have those all out. And then they'll be wetted again and sewed, sewed into the plate. And then this guy here, he's actually, um, he's tacking out or blocking, like we like to call it, blocking out the plates. This is a belly plate, and I'm definitely getting in the way here, but um, that's what I do. Um, big back plate.
plate. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh wow, this is uh, oh wow, this is really interesting here. This is the uh, this is where the, the guy sorts them, and matches up the skins. So these are all kinds of bellies, and he just takes them over here and he puts the same colors on top of each other, so that all the plates when they make them see those stacks, and they're all the same color. And you even see that they're kind of the same color just by looking down the sides of them. They're all mashed up, you know, a little more silvery, a little more brown, you know, whatever, whatever you are. Like I said, these are actually probably from Kazakhstan. Um, they're not here. Like, you know, even under the table, here's a, here's an old, here's a black rat, rat from the, there are a bunch of black rats, and those are ones they, they obviously, they obviously, just, they can't, uh, they can't match up, so they just throw them under the table, and that's why it's important that you don't have odd, odd colors. There's a bunch of little back strips, and there's a bunch more, those are little bigger bellies, so maybe they'll make a little smaller, um, make a little smaller, or I'm sorry, a little, a little uh, plate with a few less muskrats, maybe it'll be, you know, three by four or something like that. Um, or they'll just, uh, or make, make a big, make a bigger plate with that. Use the same amount of muskrats. They usually keep the plates around two feet by three or four uh, feet, depending on the on the bird scans. Here's some Chinese mink or Chinese weasels, whatever you want to call them. They make plates out of everything here. But this is mainly the muskrat area here. And here, as you can see, see the backs. This is so cool. I mean, they're they're all all these piles are exactly the same. And uh, they and these are super super dark here. These are super super brown here. There's one that looks like it doesn't really match, but um, I, that one's one that doesn't look right. I just can't help it myself. I got to throw that to the side. Um, but uh, yeah, um, if you get any questions, quick here. I, you know, very few people are watching because it's the middle of the night back in the states. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll answer some afterwards. Just you know, you can keep putting your. Um, this guy's okay. Here we go. This guy's matching skins right here. This is so neat. I mean, look at this. They just look identical. They just match them against each other. And he's he's this guy's laying them out. These probably have already been matched. And now he's laying them out for a plate so that the sewers can uh, so then they'll they'll block them out each individual skin and they'll probably be numbered so that they can go right into the plate and they'll sew them together. But these will all be be matched perfectly. And as you can see. I've told, told guys so many times how they every little bit counts. This is all the way up to the whiskers. See, all the way up to the whiskers. And this is all the way to the rump. And that, that goes just like that. And that's why it is so important not to, to, to cut anything off of a muskrat when you're processing it. Don't cut anything off. Don't put any of the belly onto the back. Make sure the belly is just cut, you know, perfectly with that line that's so obvious. You know, the back is on the back and the belly is on the belly and don't take anything off, you know, whatsoever, because every last little tiny inch of this thing is, uh, is used in a muskrat. And it's, you know, it's even, even me in the fur business for so many years, it's unbelievable that they use right up to the, to the whiskers there. But this will go in a liner so that, you know, uh, inside of a coat, inside of a parka, whatever. And uh, it uh, just won't, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I'm gonna let you guys go now. And uh, you guys watch this tomorrow or yeah. whatever. Shoot me some quick. Oh wait, we got a little bit more here yet. Okay. Oh oh wow! Here they're doing. We're gonna watch. See the garments here. I did not know that this was here. I thought this was just plate manufacture. And uh, here's all kinds of plates. These obviously aren't all muskrats. There's a bunch of a bunch of. Um, maybe we won't have. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, this is, oh yeah, here we go. Here is a, here's a liner. Now this is not muskrat, but it, that's all right. This is rabbit, but I can kind of show you. And you see how this was a plate and the, the rabbits are a little easier to make in a plate. See how big they are and how square they are. They've had to be fixed a little bit there. And this one actually has a little hole there. I don't know what that's from. Looks like some of my workmanship. Um, but anyway, this is obviously the back of a, back of a garment and this will, um, this will take shape, and she's putting it right on a pattern here, and uh, she fits that. See how exact that pattern is? And she's got some technical stuff she's doing up here. She'll sew it in my hand here. This is, you know, this is just fascinating to see. I mean, uh, maybe boring to you guys back home. I don't know, but um, okay.
okay, here we go. She's got these pieces and see, she's what she's doing here is, you know, she cut the big, there's this big piece down here, but there was some scraps left over here. And so she used that to make it and uh, she's piecing it back together so nothing gets wasted. So this entire plate, you know, is used up. And that's the same thing they'll do in the muskrat. See, she's marking it right there. And the, the pieces, and now she'll cut that off. Watch this. You don't think that's sharp, do you? Yeah, it looks like a little sharper than the knives that Bryce and Gary use when, when they're trying to use a knife. All right. All right. All right. Well, I guess that kind of kind of finishes up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't want. <laughs> She doesn't want to go on TV, so, um, but he's giving her a little bit of a hard time. She's marking it. All right, well, anyway, thank you so much.